Hey YouTube, welcome to my review of the Spyderco Resilience Lightweight. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. Welcome one and all. The blade length on this is 4.2 inches. It has lightweight blue FRN handle scales with bi-directional texturing, a tubed lanyard hole. It has a four position pocket clip, open pillar construction, skeletonized liners. It has the Spyderco opening hole and jimping on a thumb ramp there. It has the classic uh, leaf-shaped Spyderco blade. Jimping on the liner there, it is a liner lock. The steel on this is CPM S35VN. That is a stainless steel and it is a powdered metallurgy steel made by Crucible. Right, and that steel is made in the USA. Now the thing about powdered metallurgy steel is that it is known to be very uniform down to a microscopic level. No weak spots and it has very good edge retention. Here is the knife on the old food scale. So I'm getting 4.42 ounces, truly light for the size of the blade. Okay, let's use this knife. I've got some standard paracord there. I hope you are all doing well these days. We're getting some rain tonight as I'm narrating this. Not sure if you can hear that gentle pitter-patter in the background. But this blade came very sharp. This is an easy task for it, but nonetheless a mundane task that you might find yourself doing out there. All right, so it made short work of that. Next up, we've got some heavy-duty nylon strap material, kind of like a seat belt. Usually you would use a fully serrated blade for this, but... Uh, this very sharp blade can slice through, definitely. So I was out there, actually I was uh, filming some more air gun videos out there and I brought several blades to also do some blade testing and make more uh, knife videos for you. All right, cutting up food. I got some peppers there. Whenever I see one of these uh, typical Spyderco blades with like a wide grind area and the full flat grind, it always does remind me of uh, food preparation knives. Uh, this big this big folder is excellent uh, for slicing. That's a draw cut right there. See how I drew the tip through, right? So draw cutting, slicing, mincing, shearing cuts, uh, piercing. That's one reason why they use the leaf shape. It lends itself to six or seven uh, bedrock or, or foundational types of cutting that you would use day to day. All right, I love peppers. You know, I used to just, I used to add the peppers to things and so forth. Now, I just eat the peppers. It's not even a dish. There's no recipe. I just eat those like that. All right, cutting some wood. I got a, well, first of all, there's a spidey drop for you. All right, I got a piece of wood. The holes in that wood are from when I was testing a reamer on one of the multi-tools, drilled a couple holes. But now we're going to whittle or carve uh, this piece of basswood. And it's uh, going through it very quickly because it's a very, very sharp blade. So how are you all doing these days? I hope you are doing well. I'm doing pretty well considering all the um, crazy stuff in the news lately, huh? I am monitoring these situations, the global crises closely, don't worry. Okay, so in short amount of time... We made a very pointy piece of wood. All right, I got, oh, here's the pocket clip. There you go, being a pocket clip. Not too tight, not too loose, I would say. Ooh, spidey drop. Spidey drop is a quick way to open the knife, but not recommended, not recommended for self-defense. It's just flash, really. It is a, it is a darn attractive knife, I, I must say. There's a look at the lockup there. The lockup was solid, there was no front to back or side to side play. It's been a while since I've gotten a Spyderco, but this one definitely spoke to me. Uh, I think it is a good value. All right, the last thing we're gonna cut, the old paper test. This was from uh, before I cut those other things with it. Let's check out the initial sharpness. Listen here. any angle it'll cut. Yeah, Spyderco has always done an excellent job on their edges, and this knife is no exception, and the thinness of the blade also helps when cutting paper. 
Here it is with my older Spyderco Resilience that has the G10 handle scales. I've had that for several years, but this new lightweight, definitely easier to carry, and the steel has been significantly upgraded with that Crucible steel. Here it is with my old Spyderco Tenacious. Now the Tenacious, the Persistence, and the Resilience uh, constitute the same line, all similar shapes, blade shapes, and they now do have a Tenacious with these same lightweight handle scales and that crucible steel so i will include links in the text description box below the video to this resilience lightweight and to the new tenacious uh, little brother to this that thing is excellent might pick that up as well but what are my final thoughts on this new version of the resilience that is a great steel for a folding knife high corrosion resistance high edge retention uh, the lockup was great. The initial sharpness was excellent. You got the four position pocket clip for however you wish to carry your EDC. So this blade is at a bit of an angle to the handle, which essentially presents the belly area, makes it good for slicing. It's also very good at draw cuts. It has a lot of reach. It's also wide, giving you a lot of grind area. Great for food prep. Now I have large size hands and I still have ample extra room on this handle. So this handle will accommodate people with XXL uh, sized hands, right? So this is kind of like a spider coat tenacious for those who have large hands or for those who like their knife to have just more reach, right? You like the, the big steel, then you will like this. It has been a long time since I have purchased a Spyderco, especially one that is above $100. This was about $115. So why? Well, I actually love Spyderco. I have a Spyderco collection. I have at least 50 Spydercos, but you know, whenever a new one comes out, I, I ask myself, what's this new knife going to do that my other 50 Spydercos can't do, right? So there's kind of a high bar as you accumulate more and more, right? I'm a collector and a user. But this one really spoke to me because of the steel upgrade, the ease of carry, the reach that it gives you, the full flat grind, and that edge it just will slice through uh, like a lightsaber. If you've never bought a knife above $100 and you want to go there and you don't want to get ripped off, I would recommend this one. I think it is a good value in its price range. I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.